I'd always had a, a real interest in film, and I've always been a, a really fascinated by sets. So becoming a set decorator uh, was kind of a natural progression. Uh, I started making um, Super 8 films in high school, and that led to uh, undergraduate study at NYU. And this was in the early 80s, and New York was really um, just uh, abundant with independent film and uh, non-union, low-budget pictures. So it was kind of like a, a perfect time to be educated there. And I think it was by my junior year, I was allowed to access this bulletin board on campus where uh, all these indie films would put up their, their cards looking for PAs and uh, uh, positions to fill, and the object was always to be the first one there so you could see the, what shows had gone up and, and try to get hired before the next guy. So um, pretty much my last two years of college were spent uh, interning on as many films as I could be a part of. And I kept finding myself, when asked, choosing to work for the art department because I, I was starting to feel like that was the, that was the creative hub behind the film, and it was where uh, everybody that was involved seemed to be um, creating the, the world that I uh, wanted to be a part of. It seemed like the, the place to have, to have fun and to be involved and uh, fulfill this uh, desire to work on film. Um, that led to uh, me getting my first decorating gig uh, in the mid-80s, I think simply because I was willing to do it for $250 a week, and uh, basically I did. I was the decorator and the construction coordinator, and I painted and dressed, and um, it led to many more jobs that were uh, the same way. I, I think I worked every position in the art department before kind of honing in on the decorator as the position that I admired and wanted to pursue. I think a lot of people um, feel that a set decorator is akin to an interior decorator, and that we are mostly responsible for uh, having taste and, and doing the shopping. And uh, while that certainly is a part of it, uh, it's really only a, a, a small part of what the decorator does. Um, I don't think people uh, are fully aware of how faceted our position really is. Um, we. Uh, we really are uh, historians and um, anthropologists, sociologists. I've heard my, my peers refer to this position in, in many different ways, but we kind of take the script and we mine it for details and we look for ways to, to uh, enhance the environments that, have, that are uh, part of our story uh, in ways that perhaps haven't been uh, thought of or discovered yet. Um, so it involves a lot of a lot of research, a lot of reading between the lines and, and investigating what's not necessarily on the page um, to, um, to fully develop a world. So it goes beyond supplying furniture or objects uh, for uh, a room. It, it, it really goes a lot deeper into understanding um, every environment in the film and what those environments need to relay in order for them to uh, Uh, to facilitate the vision of the film. I think the set decorator is um, affected by the new technology in a very subtle way. Um, I think that um, over the years, I, I, I see the, the uh, tasks that I am called upon to facilitate on a show evolving and changing with the technology, but the core uh, the core tasks that I'm expected to fulfill seem to remain constant. Um, you could be working on a, on a show that is 3D or involves uh, being shot on high def video uh, or um, a show that's largely CGI. And all these elements, we have to become proficient in, in this language and in, in that particular way of seeing and of making a film. But at the same time, we still have a script to break down. We still have to uh, either fabricate or find the objects with which to dress the sets and, um, and facilitate the, the vision of the film. So 
really uh, every movie is a crash course in whatever that subject is that, that you have to become uh, uh, adept at the language of in order to make the movie. So um, I've learned a great deal over in the past decade alone uh, uh, regarding all the new technologies, but I think it really hasn't changed the way that I do my job.